This week, we are heading to the eternal spring of Guatemala, Lake Atitlan. It's 2.5 hours from Antigua, so an easy addition to your Guatemala vacation. It's surrounded by unique villages and its history is filled with legends. We made it to Lake Atitlan. It is a beautiful lake right in the middle of a, a volcanic crater that was created about 84,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. It sits at about 5,000 feet elevation. Almost mile high. Um, interesting fact is that uh, legend had it that there was actually a, an ancient city underneath the water. And back in 1996, they actually went out and found an old Mayan city uh, at I don't know how far down, but uh, at some point it was on its own little island. Yeah. Um, so we know that a long time ago, this water wasn't as high, and, uh, and there was a Mayan an, an, civilization, a civilization out, out in an island. It's pretty cool. So we'll be here for the next four days. We'll be there's actually 11 villages around the lake. It would take so long to be able to see them all, but we're lucky to be able to spend a few days here. And tomorrow we'll go off to our first one, which is going to be Santa Cruz. Tonight we're in Pana Hachel. Yep, and we've left open the last night just to get kind of the local scoop and see kind of where we'd want to end up. Um, so we have a little bit of a flex day in there. stay here at Selena. Selena hostels have 134 destinations worldwide. This was our first stay in one and we weren't disappointed. They had a delicious breakfast menu and a bright, spacious bar area. There were plenty of community and or workspaces. The rooms were modern and tastefully designed. We split a four-person dorm for $30 per person per night. We only stayed a night because we there's a lot to explore around Lake Atitlan. So we're heading over to Santa Cruz and Moving we'll be right staying along. at a place called Free Cerveza, but it has really cute little glamping mm -hmm. tents. Um, it's supposedly free beer. Suppo it's to called the name. Free Cerveza, so we'll see about that. Or included beer. Yeah. yeah. But now we got to go try to find public transportation across the lake, so this will be an interesting experience. Come it's, along. I bet it's going to be pretty easy. But yeah, yeah, it's probably going to be pretty easy. Fingers crossed. He's tired. We just walked all up and down the main street in Panahachel, which I've heard several times has the best market. And it was really great. The market was amazing. We got um, souvenirs for family and oh, some pillowcases for our bus. So they hand make these. You could see them making them. And it was amazing. Um, we got this for Everly. Beep. Little shoes for Atlas. Beep. For when we have a Christmas tree someday. Beirut. We really could have used this when we were at Habitanango. You can get a fit? Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm very proud of our purchases, but that is all the shopping. All the shopping that we, you know, that we need to do because our backpacks are very full. Oh, look at all, what else I got? This little seat and um, glasses. And so now we're grabbing some lunch before heading over to Santa Cruz and heading, getting on the boat. We didn't realize the market was like on the way to the boats, so we definitely got caught up in that for a couple of hours, but so we can't check in until two anyway. So this worked out perfectly. And we met lots of great locals, super helpful. It was really fun. They were happy to take our money and we were happy to give it. Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz. 
it onto a boat. Yeah. It was going over to Santa Cruz. And, uh, 25 quetzales per person. And they pretty much keep, everyone has the same rates, 25 quetzales to get across no matter kind of where you're going. To uh, Santa Cruz particularly. Yeah, yeah, to Santa Cruz, I mean. Santa because, Cruz uh, is really close to Pana Hichel. Uh, and it kind of keeps everything fair. Say. So yeah. because it's a, lots of people going back and forth all the time, so we don't we don't need people undercutting each other. Right. Full time. And we're taking a public boat. Where the private boats, I believe, are more expensive. Obviously. Definitely. Yeah. So so yeah, we're taking a public boat to Santa Cruz, and we'll check into Free Cerveza. Boat services run between 6:30 a.m. and 7:30 p.m. When we needed a boat ride during our stay, it was super simple. Just stand at the dock and flag one down. Our boat ride to Santa Cruz took about 15 minutes and dropped us off at the public dock, which meant we needed to find our way from there. Since Santa Cruz is super small, it wasn't difficult. We just followed the water until we found Free Cerveza. We, we made it to Santa Cruz and we're staying in a little yurt tent tonight. It's pretty adorable. That's fairly, it's a I little, mean it's about what I expected to be honest size wise, but it's a little dirt. It's a little dirty. I'm a little disappointed in the dirt. <laughs> you actually can't tell as much you on can't the video. Tell as much, but, but in here it's kind of like, looks a little it doesn't, naughty. It, it's not as glamorous as I was imagining, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. it's all an experience, but mm -hmm. you know, I think we paid like around a hundred bucks yeah. for tonight. And Which it's is kind of a little pricey for, for here. That's pretty. That's pretty pricey for what it is. Yeah, for being in a tent, but yeah it's cool it's a fun experience it is a fun experience i've never stayed in a tent before like this i've stayed in a tent <laughs> like a regular tent <laughs> not a glamorous tent oh, yeah okay so yeah and also now we have to try to figure out how to pack all of our souvenirs that we got in pana Hachel. yeah whoops i don't know don't know we're gonna do that it's i found so much crazy. stuff also after the last time we talked i got this i saw it on the street across the road and I thought it was beautiful and I walked over there and it, I didn't have enough money and I told the lady all the money I had and she was like, okay, for cien, cien quetzal. I paid cien quetzales for this and it's so gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. Anyway, also, word of advice, get bug spray because I'm getting kind of bit. Look at this on my arm. Good morning. Good morning. We did a sunrise hike today. It was a little harder than I thought, but I thought any hike was going to be super easy after doing Fuego. Um, but it was really beautiful, very nice. Uh, nice way to start the day. We slept decently. Santa Cruz has, and I think a lot of the villages actually around the lake, have a lot of roosters and dogs like street dogs lots of street dogs and man. so it was probably like three a little after 3 a.m and the dogs were just going wild like they're probably i don't know sounded like 20 dogs in all different areas of the town just going crazy and um, they woke up the roosters and then the roosters started going crazy and i just never fell back asleep so it worked out because we had the sunrise hike but i was a little bit annoyed by it so I would suggest 
bringing earplugs because there's nothing worse than getting like a really bad night's sleep and then needing to have, you know, an exploration day the next day. So I'm gonna try to find some earplugs for tonight and hopefully that helps because we decided we're gonna stay at uh, Free Cerveza again because it's just easier than moving all of our stuff and going somewhere else. And there's so many boats that you can take to visit all the villages. We can just go do that and just have a place to come back to tonight. But hopefully I'll be able to get some earplugs and get a better night's sleep. The lake was once home to two warring kingdoms. A princess from one kingdom fell in love with the prince from the enemy clan. When their romance was discovered, it was condemned on both sides. But the two continued to meet, always on the lake. When the kings learned of their ongoing affair, they sent warriors to break them apart. Tragically, they both were drowned. But each afternoon, they surfaced to be together again, disturbing the smooth as glass lake. After a boat ride and a tuk-tuk ride, we've made it to Jenna's Riverbed and Breakfast. It is a beautiful little place overlooking the lake. We even bathtub. have a recessed bathtub that looks out over the water. It's definitely a gorgeous place and it's for sale. For sale. <laughs> for sale. Save in there. Jenna's Riverbed and Breakfast was truly a labor of love. Jenna was the sweetest host who came from Nova Scotia and fell in love with Guatemala. It doesn't take long for Guatemala to pull someone in and steal their heart. The weather was so perfect, we slept with the doors to our room open so we could watch the sunrise from our bed. Good morning. It's super early. It's like six something, but the bus to go to Lankeen to go see Simic Shampi leaves at seven o'clock in the morning from Pana Hachel, which is why we stayed in Pana Hachel last night, so we wouldn't have to wake up and take a boat and then get here and then get on a bus. And the bus is supposedly eight hours on a good day, so it's usually more like 10 hours. So <laughs> I've heard a mixture of things about this bus to get there. Simic Shampi is out in the middle of a jungle here in Guatemala, and so, it takes a while to get there, but I've heard it's very worth it. And so we are going to do it. See you on the bus.